Hello world, it is Friday, August 7th. Another gorgeous day here in Defiance. Cool weather, sunshine. Uh, it's gonna be a little warmer today, but still a beautiful, beautiful August day. The devotional for today is written by Vince Amlin and it's entitled Social Distance Violations of the Bible. And Vince bases his devotion on John 13, chapter four through seven, New Revised Standard Version. Jesus got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know what I am doing, but later you will understand. And Vince writes, I have never been more aware of my body or its proximity to other bodies than in the moment, except maybe in my teenage years when any amount of closeness would start my blood pumping like I was running the annual compulsory mile around the track, when an accidental touch of hands would be all I thought about for days. These days, standing within five feet of anyone seems so intimate. Seeing someone smile unmasked, enough to start your blood pumping, so dangerous. Like Jesus in his underwear, kneeling before the men to wash them, too close, too exposed. He knows the thought, it will con the thought of it will consume Peter for days. So he gives away the meaning. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. It's about service. As Jesus has served them, they should serve others. Which makes it no less scary, the intimacy of choosing to do something completely for someone else. The danger of letting someone do something completely for you. No reciprocity, not even a thank you note. What could be more vulnerable? What could be more exposing? Letting someone enter into your life even closer than touch. And prayer. Nearer my God to thee, nearer to thee. Amen. One thing I thought of as I was reading this devotion um, was a commentary I once read many years ago about this particular passage because um, we don't really understand it in its full context because our society is so different today. But in Jesus' society, um, which most people were barefoot or open sandals, and so feet were just filthy. And usually the chore of washing someone's feet was left to the absolute lowest servant in the household. So here was Jesus, the disciples' teacher, who was their superior in that regard, actually taking on the most, um, um, the lowest task of washing their feet and then him telling them that they should do the same for each other, for others. So it's really about um, being in complete service to one another, even to the point at which you are lowering, your, lowering, lowering yourself so much beneath someone else um, status-wise. So it's quite an incredible thing that Jesus does, does by washing someone's feet, being in full service to them. Um, and in essence, it's, it's kind of like um, Jesus suggesting erasing the status between one another. And no task is too low or too demeaning to perform for someone that you love. So that's something to think about today in our day because we so often are taught to think of ourselves and to get what we can for ourselves when Jesus, what he taught was to be in service to others and um, even to lower himself so far beneath another in order to serve them, to show the depth of love that he has for them to show the depth of love that God has for them. So pray on that, think about that, contemplate that. And be safe in this time of the pandemic too. Hope you have a good day.